we are back with I'm sorry we're not back this is our first video my name is Felisa Tantalizer that is my stage name or y'all can call me Megan that is my you know legal name but today we're going to be talking about everything self-worth weight loss confidence growing with God and being that girl so let's start with it the nitty and gritty what people really want to get into so for the past two and a half years, I have lost and been maintaining 60 pounds of weight loss. I know that's what we're all here for. Day around end of 2018, going into 2019, I was around 225 pounds. Um, I've always been a confident girl because I'm that girl and I walk my walk, but I just wasn't comfortable in my body at the moment. I felt very heavy. I felt like I couldn't even walk up a flight of stairs without getting a little you know with flash so i was like you know what maybe it's time to you know change the diet up a little bit get a little exercise in so i would say beginning of 2019 is when i started i did not eat red meat for a couple of months it was like maybe two months right before my birthday and during that time i basically was like okay i'm just gonna eat chicken fish and turkey and that's what I ate for the first couple of months I saw about 10 pounds of weight loss but to me that still wasn't enough so I was like all right let's really start going hard I started implementing um daily workouts I worked out about three or four times a week but I didn't have a trainer or anything so this was just me and my friend just saying you know what let's you know do a couple of activities at the school gym I started seeing a little bit of definition and from there it was just just like that I'm gonna insert a little car clip um and i would say yeah that's when everything basically started um this is around february i started um implementing red meat, red meat back into my diet as y'all know well y'all don't know but your girl loves steak i love steak and i was never going to give it up for too long but ultimately my goal would be to become completely plant-based and eat off of a plant-based diet sometimes having meat but sticking to mostly vegetables and grains um so this is around 2019 i would say may 2019 right before i graduated college yeah i'm old y'all i'm old um but yeah around may 2019 um i would say i lost about 30 pounds i was around like 190 at that point so yeah that's about what 35 pounds i'm sorry i can't count so i started out at 225 beginning of 2019 by may i was down like to 190 and i was feeling good your girl was we was doing it like i said we were in the gym we were eating good getting our vegetables in and i also want to say tip number two protein intake as well as water you have to drink your water people you gotta drink it it's no getting over it you have to drink your water activity wise uh in the last recent of couple of months i started working out with the trainer i'm no longer working out with that trainer however for about four to five months we were working out religiously three times a week weightlifting as well as doing small increments of cardio and i saw a lot of muscle definition in those couple of months i was strong i felt good unfortunately i had to stop that due to some personal issues but we move forward um and i would say because i'm at this point i'm i'm running through it running through it let's go back to 2019 <laughs> 2019 i would say um like i said may i graduated after college i went back home to live with my family and i would say i was a little stagnant at that point um i was still around like the 190 180 track i was working out religiously but i wasn't going as hard as i was when i was back in college because i felt like in college I had something to prove I had just you know got over a situation ship um, and it's like revenge body always does what it needs to do I've had revenge body about three times since 2019 at this point so y'all know when your girl gets her heart broken I'm ready to go get it popping that's just me I don't know if all the girls do but that's just me um, so at this point let's say it's about like August I just started a new job post college camera cut off i don't get it with this, this these cameras i'm a new girly to the camera world so i don't even get it honestly but let's get right back into it um yes um in total like i said i've lost about 16 60 pounds and i have been maintaining it for the last two and a half years protein protein is number one 
water is the number two. Um, consistent exercise is number three. Um, even if it's low impact, taking walks every day, um, yoga, Pilates. I'm trying to be a Pilates girl. Pilates girls living their best life so I'm, I'm gonna get back into that too do a little research on that and I would also say don't compare yourself to everybody don't compare your journey to anybody else's like I did say we're going to be speaking about growing with God and I guess we can just track into that as well um so for a couple of years in high school I would say from about 2014 till about let's say 2018 I was studying um, as a Jehovah's Witness, studying with Jehovah's Witnesses to become a Jehovah's Witness. Um, I have family members who are Jehovah's Witnesses, um, and for many years I was religiously studying um, with other sisters in order to become a Jehovah's Witness. So I've always had God be um, a very important factor in my life, but in this current stage I'm not studying um, with any of the sisters. However, I do believe at this point I have grown in my spirituality. I have grown in my love for Jehovah. I've grown in uh, fortifying the relationship that we have, and I hope that it can continue to grow. Um, he has been a very, very, um, I would say, very great addition to my life. And I know that I couldn't do this life without him. So, daddy, what it is but yeah um so yes he has been an epicenter of my life for many years now and um he has gotten me through some tough spots we can talk about that in the next couple of videos but he has gotten me through some tough tough times and i can only thank him um for his continuing to push me his love for me it's unconditional um and you know how they say like you know your friends love and your partners love and your parents love no his love is truly unconditional and that's just all for it that's what it is um so i would say yes in these last couple of months i've really seen my heart being drawn to him even more uh the people that i'm around my friends the romantic partners that i bring into my life uh family i want to make sure that that is also an epicenter of their lives as well because i want to make sure that the values are there i want to make sure that i'm aligning with the frequencies of the individuals who align with me on my frequencies as well um so yeah spirituality has become a huge impact in my life physically mentally spiritually but also say that in the last couple of months um beginning my content creation journey i feel like i started like you know taking it serious i would say December beginning of January 2022 and I said you know what this is something I'm interested in I love being that girl and showing y'all what I got and I just love the enthusiasm and the charisma that I feel when I show my authentic self on screen so that's why I decided to get into content creation um, and I feel like the universe has been solidifying that for me so we're just going to continue to keep doing it and see where we go but your girl is educated like I said have my whole degree in psychology do i look like a psych girl and i'm a pisces as well so that's i feel like it's inevitable the stereotypes are true yes us pisces love everything with the mind everything intuitiveness um i love just tapping in i love reading people it is one of my favorite things to do because i can definitely look you up and down and be like mm -hmm. i see you i see you yeah so yeah everything self-worth anything that you know you're struggling with at the moment i would say tap in tap in realize who you are and don't let nobody tell you that you're anything less than that i do a lot of self-talk i do a lot of positive self-talk um i stretch in the morning i meditate i write down affirmations i speak with god in the morning time um i do a lot of things self-centered around myself so that i can start my day out great as we speak right now, I'm actually in the house sick with Corona. Ugh, I know. I know. I've been in this house for like three days straight and I can't wait till my quarantine is over because your girl has a date to the spa. Your girl has a date to the nail salon because a petty in man me is, is, is so mandatory right now. It's so mandatory right now. Like I can't wait to get about this house. 
um but yeah um i've gotten that question before like how are you so confident how are you able to wear the things that you wear move the way you move and also i would like to state i wear what i wear and i do what i do and i move how i move because who gonna tell me i can't a man <laughs> my mama <clears throat> Nobody, nobody gonna tell me what I can do. Cause I'ma do it. And I'ma look good. And I'ma have a good time. And I'ma give y'all what y'all came here for. Um, but I would say top three tips for stepping into your that girl era would be being grateful for all that you have. Um, I feel like in these last couple months with growing with God, I have really learned to be grateful and be humble with all that I have because it will be taken away in a snatch. Um, so just showing the universe, showing God how grateful I am for all that he has given me this would be one. Um, and tapping in to the subconscious, really tapping in, um, figuring out what you want and going for it head on, going for it with all of your energy and all of your might and saying, I'm going to accomplish it. I'm going to do it. I don't I can't think of anything that I said that I wanted that I didn't get my success rate is like 98.9 mm -hmm. it's like 98.9 and if you're one of my friends then you know what I mean by success rate because I'm a shooter y'all I low-key even forgot what we were talking about but we'll get back into it so a lot of people ask me like when it comes to my energy and my confidence and the things that I wear I don't even think the things that I wear are pretty risky but I guess for a mid-sized woman with a little thick come on them it's a little whoo for people but they secretly love it um but yeah so I've always been very just secure with who I am I did have struggles when I was like in elementary school slight bullying um i remember my mom at a young age would tell me like let it roll off your skin grow some tough skin and don't let what other people say affect you and i feel like over time i just kind of created this wall and that wall has created even further issues that you know we deal with in therapy every, every two weeks um but yeah uh i would just say that when it comes to being confident knowing you that girl and tapping into your self-worth you honestly just kind of think about have to think about what your goals are what you want for yourself in life and don't like i said don't allow how others treat you because people only treat you how they treat themselves if you're dealing with individuals on a romantic or platonic level where they don't love themselves where they have a lot of unhealed trauma that they're not actively getting over um hurt people hurt people um so that's how i kind of think of it as um so i just try to be positive on most days and keep it pushing and i let all that energy all that positivity all that zest for life all the things that i have goals for and i let that kind of drive me in my everyday movement um and i guess the energy is just so enticing that people come back for more that's why i call myself the tantalizer we give out tantalizing moments okay it's a vibe over here so yeah i feel like we've tapped into everything we've talked about my weight loss um we've talked about self-worth growing closer to god um confidence being that girl you are that girl regardless of what anybody says you're that girl megan felice you are that girl mm. we gonna insert the uh three hours later from spongebob three hours later because that's how long it's i feel like it's taken me to get this so number three for stepping in you to your that girl ever not giving a rat's ass what anybody has to say not caring what anybody gotta say. The only uh, opinion that matters is yours. That's really much it. Um, and this will be the conclusion of this video, y'all. I hope that I was able to answer any questions about self-worth, self-love, connecting with God, weight loss, um, maintaining that weight loss. Um, and I just can't wait to see how this page flourishes and my authenticity and really tapping in with y'all and 
formulate in that community um i have some vlogs coming out in the next couple of days i plan on just you know honing in and showing y'all all that is felice the tantalizer and i can't wait to see what's next for us like comment subscribe and it was lovely talking to y'all